Homeschooling, which is different than cyber school, is a widespread practice. It's usually led by a parent who may use a more casual method of learning compared to traditional schools. Here to tell us more is 2822 News reporter Paula Giacomo, who joins us now in the studio in this week's Paula's Parenting Playbook. Hi, Candace. Homeschooling continues to grow in the U.S. with more than 4 million school-aged children taking part, and its practice varies among families. The homeschool spectrum ranges from highly structured learning to more relaxed methods of teaching. I visited a group of homeschool students in our area and witnessed firsthand how they are educated in this unique atmosphere. I like the ability to be flexible and just be able to follow what you want to do. 11 year old Ronan McCulloch is one of a dozen homeschool students who meet here at Fern Hall Estate in Clifford twice a week for hands on learning experiences. Currently, the students are working in teams to design and construct cardboard boats. We make the boats and we learn about how to make the boats to make them float and to make them fast. And we de redesign it so that we make it our own. And how's the project coming along? It's good. We made, my friend and me, we made a thing so I have to get in it and it's kind of shaped like a shoe. These students work under the direction of their teacher, Michael Healy. This former school administrator is hired by the homeschool parents to provide these students with hands-on projects and educational opportunities to enhance their ability to learn a variety of topics. They're self-directed. If you give them a task to do and you're there to answer questions, then that's really the way they're going to learn the best. In addition to hands-on projects, these students also engage in activities that include everything from creative writing to spelling to coding and even art. Tara McCullough has been homeschooling her two children since they were toddlers. For Tara, the practice of homeschooling is unstructured and varies daily. I'm aware of what are those standards that we're trying to meet? What are the requirements of the state? What are the things we're trying to do academically, but also really paying attention to how my kids learn what they're interested in, how we can bring in those pieces. In addition to all of the hands-on learning that the kids do inside the co-op, they also come outside to explore the outdoors and learn about all of the animals here on the property. There are 200 sheep and dozens of chickens that belong to Melanie Balfour. She also homeschools her two children and enjoys sharing her farm with her homeschool community. So they're learning all about these animals and what makes them healthy and how to run an organic farm and keep the soil and the air healthy as well. My favorite part is the farm because I get to be around animals and help them. And a lot of animals right? there are. No two homeschool families are alike, and the internet and social media are great resources for those families. Part of the state standards that students have to meet is passing an assessment by a state evaluator who determines whether the student is learning adequately and meeting state guidelines. Now, for more information on homeschooling and websites that can help guide you, go to our website, pahomepage.com. I have to tell you, it was very eye-opening for me. What I thought homeschooling was right. is not the reality. So I was, I'm glad that I got to do this story. What a great experience for those kids, too, to be able to just see the world as it happens in front of them. Well, like the mother I interviewed said, she, they, they live, they learn as they live. Yeah. So every day is a learning opportunity. I like that. Thanks, Paula.